What's going on YouTube? I'm Alex and today I'm bringing you the review of the MXQ Pro TV box. So this box has the Amlogic S905 inside and it's running Android 5.1. Let's check out what comes in the box and let's see how the box performs. box comes in this particular box on the front we just have a picture um, of the box itself some information about the box right here at the bottom it can play 4k uh, videos and on the back some description however uh, it's translated from Chinese into English so it doesn't sound uh, that great inside the box we get the HDMI cable the power adapter and the remote I do suggest using a mouse to this box for a much better experience. Aside from those we just get the manual, it's a very basic manual and if you ever used the Android device before you shouldn't uh, need to read this manual. The box is made out of plastic entirely and on the top we just have the MXQ Pro and the 4K uh, logo. The bottom of the box is also made out of plastic and on the corners of the box there is some rubber uh, so the box doesn't slide. On the back of the box we just have the power adapter plug, the internet port, the HDMI output, the AV and the SPDIF uh, output. The SPDIF output basically it's the output line which sends uh, digitalized audio to a digital amplifier. And next to that we have the USB 4, that's the fourth port uh, available. On the right hand side of the box we have three other uh, USB ports and the memory card slot. Even though you cannot see this at this time, uh, there is a LED light right in the center there that uh, turns on blue or red depending if the box is on or off. For this review I'm gonna be using the remote that came with the box, it's a very simple remote and as I've said before for a better experience I do suggest using a wireless mouse and I'm also using a wireless mouse. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug in the box so you can see the boot up animation. And we see the MXQ uh, Pro right there. If you just shut off the box from the power button and you don't unplug it, I unplugged it this time so I plugged it back in. It actually goes into a standby mode so uh, when you turn it on it takes like a second uh, or so to start. And like most uh, MX boxes it's using this particular launcher. It's an okay launcher, I mean if you want you can install a different one uh, that's gonna be simpler. Uh, it really depends what you like. So I'm gonna start by going to settings so you have uh, an idea what's in the settings app. Uh, currently I have the box connected uh, with the wired cable to the internet so I can uh, use the Wi-Fi or the internet. The display I'm just gonna show you what uh, the screen resolution is. Uh, I'm at the maximum uh, resolution for my TV so it's this one right here. You can uh, position the screen of course, uh, zoom it in, zoom it out so it fits uh, the screen. If we go into about sound here, um, you can select uh, what type of uh, sound uh, you would like, like the output uh, of the digital sound. For storage, uh, I'm gonna show you what the available space is. So total available space uh, left after the operating system is 4.3 gigs. Keep in mind that you can install a, a SD card to increase uh, the storage. If we go into about, we can uh, see the device's name, the MXQ Pro, the version of the software that the uh, device is using, so it's Android 5.1.1. I will show you what languages um, are available. So I'm just gonna scroll through them, uh, hopefully you see the one uh, that you're looking for. Going to playback settings, uh, just the HDMI self adaptation, I have it uh, set to off, and into more settings here. Uh, basically, you get uh, like the settings app that you'd see on a tablet or on a phone. 
here uh, if I go into storage you have a better understanding what's uh, being used and uh, one what not so you can insert a SD card or a, a external hard drive and so on so getting back to the launcher at the bottom here you can add uh, any app that you'd like so you press the plus here and then you can just select uh, whatever apps should be down there for example if you want this one you're just gonna click uh, on it as well however i don't have any more space for example if i take this one off from there i can add this one and so on so uh, on the bottom here you'll just add whatever uh, apps you'd like for this online video here you can basically add uh, any app that you'd like so this one for example this one you add whatever apps uh, you feel it's basically like a shortcut uh, that uh, you can use so you do that and all the apps would uh, show up up there so i'm going to show you what apps uh, come pre-installed you get a browser chrome i uh, installed myself you get this cloud tv app i haven't actually used this it's the first time uh, i'm using this cloud tv app i tend not to use uh, so many so many chinese uh, apps so uh, premium trial free content let's see what uh, we have available for free content so cartoon network let's see if this works so basically this is an app for uh, some online streaming i'm not sure uh, where it gets the streams and so on um, however it doesn't work uh, that good so i haven't actually used uh, any of these uh, apps that come uh, come on the box like this uh, cloud tv box aside from that we have a file browser basically whatever you have on the box on usb sticks uh, would show up here this is the local disk uh, you can see whatever you have installed uh, what folders you have and uh, whatnot um what else do we get uh, here so uh, pre-installed we got this movie player right here pandora i believe there was facebook installed as well the play store so basically if you have the play store you can uh, install uh, any app that you would like the play store seems to work uh, very well and we do get um, the youtube app uh, as well since I'm here anyways, I'm going to show you the speed test uh, results. So on Wi-Fi, I was able to get this speed on a wired connection, this speed. My internet connection is not the fastest uh, out there, so that's why the results aren't uh, any higher. I haven't had any issues with the Wi-Fi connection at all. I will show you a couple of games so you have an idea how uh, the box does for gaming. I'm gonna turn up the volume a bit. So play game. And that game uh, works very very well so games uh, go okay on uh, this particular box um, I want to show you how um, Kodi works so Kodi comes pre-installed with a whole bunch of uh, add-ons so I'm gonna show you the add-ons really quick so you can scroll uh, through them there are quite a few of course you can also install other uh, add-ons i'm not a big fan of kodi myself um, it does take quite a while to find the uh, working links and so on uh, maybe i'm just uh, not putting enough time into it but uh, that's just me i'm gonna play a, a random show i'm gonna choose modern family so i usually go for medium quality because uh, it doesn't buffer uh, as much this is just so you have an idea how smooth uh, 
the video goes. So it does take a while uh, loading depending on your uh, internet connection and uh, so on. My internet connection is not the best. So this is just so you have an idea how, uh, how well it uh, does. And it does go uh, very smooth. I have a couple of other uh, apps pre-installed. I'm just gonna close Kodi. So I have the Mega Box right here. This one has a whole bunch of uh, movies, uh, TV shows and uh, whatnot. And uh, it's very, very easy to, to use. So I'm just uh, gonna play uh, a bit of this. So you see how smooth uh, it goes. And I'm just gonna fast forward a bit. And it does go uh, very smooth. Uh, next one, uh, the Showbox. So it's basically kind of the same um, app. It has a couple of uh, other different uh, shows and uh, so on. So um, it depends what you look for and uh, what you wanna see. So um, I'll just play a bit of this one. And again, I'll play at uh, 720p. Uh, that's the maximum resolution for these uh, particular apps. I haven't found any video that's uh, 1080p or uh, more than that. So it will take a while uh, to load depending on your uh, connection speed, of course. And again, I'm just playing this so you have an idea how uh, smooth the video goes. And basically the movie HD, it's uh, the same uh, like the other ones. I am in the YouTube app at the moment. I'm gonna play one of my um, own videos. I turned off the sound for uh, videos uh, and movies just for uh, copyright issues and uh, so on. So the maximum quality you're gonna be able to get uh, it's 720p. A lot of these Chinese boxes have issues with the YouTube app. So it's not the actual Chinese uh, box. It's the YouTube app that uh, doesn't allow them to see at 1080p. Uh, as you can tell, the video is extremely smooth. So there is, uh, there are no issues with the uh, YouTube as well. I will quickly show you the Geekbench score for this particular box. We'll accept this. So here we can see some information about uh, the box, so the operating system, the CPU speed and the memory left. So I'm gonna run the benchmark test. So the score that we got on the Geekbench 3, it's uh, 1693. It's uh, usually about this uh, or a bit lower for the M-Logic uh, S905. Here we can see some more information uh, about the test. So this is a normal score for this type of uh, processor and RAM. I have a couple of uh, movies on a memory stick uh, right here. So um, this one right here, uh, it's made with my Note 5 and it's a 4K video. I'm uh, not sure if it's gonna play or not. This is the first time I'm playing it. So I'll uh, try it with MX Player. So this is a 4K video, it's a very short video, but uh, just out of curiosity to see if it actually runs and it does run, uh, which, uh, well, the box said it can uh, play 4K video. So yeah, this is a 4K uh, video filmed with my Note 5. Um, aside from that, this is a 720p video. I'm just gonna play uh, a couple of seconds of it so you can see how smooth it goes. So I'm just gonna skip uh, a bit. And it does seem uh, to go very, very, very good. So I haven't seen this box uh, slowing down for any type of uh, video. The only issue, depending on your connection speed, Kodi may take a while to buffer and uh, so on. 
So again, I'm gonna skip uh, so you can see how uh, how the movie goes, and it is very smooth as well. And lastly, I have Chrome open. I'm gonna open a website here, the Globe and Mail, and I'll open a random article and scroll up and down um, to have an idea how um, how it goes. And I'm just gonna open a random uh, article, for example, this one. And after it loads, I'm gonna scroll uh, up and down. So it uh, seems to go uh, okay after uh, the page loads. Overall, I like this uh, TV box. I haven't had any apps crashing uh, and stuff like that. And the software seems to be well optimized uh, for it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.